Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And full warning, disclosure up front, if I randomly cough or like sniffle during this video, I'm still sick. It's that time of year. Here in Northeast Ohio, that's just what you do, is you get sick at this time of year. Uh, after you see family, after you see your friends, you know, that's what happens here in Ohio. You get sick. So anyway... I want to give a shout out to Mr. Robot and Win DVD <clears throat> and CNAB, all these people that have been messing with Car Town since I made my second video. They joined my Discord. I made a forum thread, and we've been tracking progress of hacking Car Town to try to get it to work in some capacity. And I wanted to make an update because this was something that everybody was following and kind of really excited to hear about. So, where are we on Cartown? <laughs> have a lot of the assets, uh, kind of organized things, figured out how the server should be laid out as far as like a test server, thanks to Mr. Robot. He has all the info right here, prerequisite things needed, uh, the tools, the uh, assets, the Winamp installer if you want to run it locally, how to use Ruffle for a Flash uh, emulator, using JPEXs for digging through the code, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. There's been a lot to this thread. As you can see, we've gone through, we figured out, you know, domains and stuff like that, how the languages should be laid out, how things should be laid out. There's been a lot of chat in this little thing. And I know the thing that people want to know up front before anything else is what's the status? Is it playable? What's going on? So I'm going to get into that first and then give my ideas after the fact. So we're gonna to jump to the present messages <clears throat> and I'm gonna open up this screenshot. We decided to start looking at car town hacking videos from when the game was live because that might give us a better understanding of how the server was laid out, which is kind of like what I did in my first and second video or my second or third video when I finally figured out how cars were laid out. So <clears throat> we found uh, these videos from, I don't wanna, say like Spanish dude or whatever because I don't know. I guess I just did. So we found videos from CTSP. Uh, I don't exactly know. But you see a couple things highlighted here. So if you remember from my previous videos, there's a CloudFront server that is still up and active and you can actually browse the asset server and download the game assets from the server. What is not live anymore is cartown.com and cartown-ex.com, which were the main servers for communication for the game to a database and back. The game to server to game, basically. So anything like your money and your cars and your account, anything that's like that is gone because those websites don't even exist anymore. The servers are gone, et cetera, et cetera. Only the asset server still remains. And actually, both asset servers are still up, which is very strange. But the American Cartown server has everything set up correctly and all file access is disabled. This CloudFront one is not set up correctly. So if you have the direct URL, you can download everything from that. So <clears throat> that's how we kind of got everything. But... As you can see here, there are a couple highlighted things. So down here, this is that CloudFront server. Up here is the actual game communication server. So the reason I highlighted this is if you open up secure.cartownex.com, you see cartownex slash local. There's been a file that is stopping us that we didn't know where it is, and it was loading incorrectly from the flash files we have. We were thinking it was going to be the CloudFront URL slash local slash styles slash en underscore us dot styles dot xml. Got to my pause button before I coughed out a lung. Anyway, we were thinking it was going to go to there, and it doesn't. It's never existed on that server, unfortunately. If it existed on that server at this point, we would know. It was actually secure.cartown.com slash cartown slash local slash styles slash enus.styles.xml. 
what are those styles files? Well, I'll just open up another YouTube video and I'll show you because it's easier to explain it that way rather than uh, anything else. So if you're playing in the game, if you're playing in Cartown, there's going to be like text boxes and stuff for when you are going through the game. So like you see the game is loading. You see it's going through the loading screen. It's trying to load the files, it's getting stuff from the server. This guy is just perusing Facebook. <laughs> Um, anyway, come on, go back to car town, please. As you can see, he's, it was some exploit with like timing and all that. And you could mess with some stuff. So right here, you see this text box. This text box is laid out according to that en underscore us dot styles dot XML. This this part of the XML, this is part of the XML. Each button, its actual label is created by the XML file. <clears throat> I wish I had an actual example XML file. If we had an actual example XML file, we wouldn't be in this mess because we would just recreate it. But anything that's a text box, so like let's say you talk to one of the AI, one of these little CPU guys, you talk to one of them. Their lineup of text is going to be from that XML file. <clears throat> Since we don't have that XML file, it won't let us pass that part of loading the SWF to try to get into the game. So what do we do about it? Because that's kind of the bad news. Because if that file is gone, we can't run it with original, 100% original like text boxes and things like that. What do we do? Well, we have to find the function in the SWF to then bypass loading that XML file and tell the game, hey, it's there, quote unquote, when it's not, and then just start hard coding things to see how that XML file was laid out. We can potentially try to make it and hope <clears throat> and then kind of run the game that way. That's how we did a lot of things with 1320 Legends and how um, somebody recently actually was messing with Legends and got pretty far with it by just hard coding things. Like if you see a variable like a string, you would just do string equals and then do like some words in that string instead of string equals variable. The variable is going to load from the XML. A string is a string. It's hard coded. So it would be the difference of, let's say you have a var a text string equals var.xml <laughs> I don't know this is terribly coded it's actually uh, it's going to be more like let's say uh, en us uh, 1 or something I don't know how it reads from an xml file this is stupid I'm not going to do this I don't know how it reads it <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to make an example when I don't know how it does it but instead it's basically reading it from a hard coded standpoint now, here is my idea. We have the SWFs now for Cartown. We can go in. I really need some space. Uh, car, con, not console. That's not right. PC, Cartown. We have the SWF files. Why don't we just do what Zagoza is doing for Legends? And rip the assets with JPEXs. Because we have everything. Like everything is in here. <clears throat> we have it all. Even some stuff that was never actually released. Like we have it. We can see how it was laid out. And there's more than enough YouTube videos on the subject of Card Town that we don't have to guess. Why not just start from the beginning, just like the developers did? and remake it from the ground up. We can make the overly basic world. We can make just a proof of concept. The only thing I'm thinking in this proof of concept is don't make the whole game at once. Do it the exact same way a game development company would do it. Start with the basic garage and placement of cars. Make the mechanic shop. Make the basic control of the mechanics. 
and then maybe add one custom thing like a used car lot so you can sell the cars you earn to other players then start importing the other cars and just start with this super simple car mechanic slash used car lot slash car collecting game that would be all it is then sprinkle in start sprinkling in the other special parts of car town on top of it like the drag racing the adventures the mini games with the uh special adventures of like uh fast and furious and things like that start sprinkling in the stuff that made car town special but start bare bones as small as possible used car lot mechanic shop car collecting start bare minimum that would be your proof of concept. Make it a single player thing first to show that it's possible. From the single player thing, you make a back end server. From the back end server, that's when you add the drag racing in the used car lot. From there, you expand it so people can play it and you can make it mobile or PC based. Then just start doing things on top. I think that's actually a really smart plan. And at that point, you can kind of decide when you have the proof of concept. Do I want to make this my own or do I want to just continue making it an exact replica of car town using car town assets? Do I make my own assets and make my own game? Do I make car town? That I think is the best way to go about this because at least you get a you get a game base and you see how people react to it when you re release a beta to the world that has overly basic multiplayer to it and just see what goes on. I think that's a fun idea, and it could make a very fun Unity learning experience and also a really fun um, series for the channel for 2024 because one of my goals for 2024 is I want to learn something new. Yes, I'm learning stuff that's new every day at work when it comes to the data recovery, and I want to start sharing that information with you guys. But at the same time, I also want to learn something new for myself. So, do we start remaking Car Town in a very basic form on Unity 3D? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want to start the year on a bad note with the Car Town news because I don't think it's bad news. I think it's just a gateway into something that could be really good for everybody. So I'll talk to you guys in a future video. I promise once I start feeling a little bit better and not having coughing fits, I think I just need to get a humidifier, honestly, and put one in my office, put one downstairs, then I'll be fine. I'll be back to making videos at least once a week. The modding Mondays will come back. The whole idea of maybe doing um, YouTube memberships will start rolling, and we'll go from there. If you guys want merch, I know 5,000 subs is a small number for asking about merch, but let me know. I used to have an Etsy shop. I can turn it back on. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.